G'day guys, Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. Today we've got the uh, old time high banker out here so we can process a lot more dirt than what we're doing with the crevices uh, in this area. We pulled a lot of gold out from down there. I've summoned Jason from PlayStation Network because, you know, why not? It's good to have someone from World War One come and help you out. <laughs> and hopefully we'll find some nice gold because we'll be able to move all the dirt that's sitting right here. With a bit of luck, Adventure Gold's uh, tip of putting the sieve in the bucket will work, except my buckets are too small. <laughs> Andrew, your trick works. It's full. <laughs> that was way easier than what I was doing. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, we now have, also, thanks to Jason, an upgraded rocker box. We've brought it to the 21st century and added some proper miners moss to it. Now we just need some actual expanded mesh and not my homemade job that we've got going on up here. <laughs> Lots of gold. A rocker box or two. And a grizzly moo. A Jason out the back. You ready for another bucket? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're only half done with this one. starting to turn into something <laughs> there's, there's a nice bit of uh, crevice here that's bedrock that's bedrock good crevice running straight across the middle of the creek we're going to do a clean out because we haven't seen a single speck in that pan which is unusual because there should be gold here i've found tons of gold here so there, should, there better be some in that rocker box all right first thing we're going to pull these I don't think there's going to be any gold just sitting in this. I can see. No. Alright, in the bucket. Now, the real test is going to be whether or not there's any on this roll. I'm so used to the rocker box having the hessian where you see the gold just sitting on top. And like Jason was saying, the uh, miner's moss just swallows it all. So, hopefully, there will be something in this pay dirt. Because there should be, by all accounts, there really should be. <laughs> Alright. Find out. Ominous feeling. <laughs> oh, please let there be one dot. Oh. We did a lot of work for not a lot of benefit then. <laughs> there was some gold, but it's only tiny, tiny micro crud. Wow, that's sad. Look at that. Hardly anything. This is prospecting. This is what happens. It looks beautiful. It looks amazing. And we're right on the bottom of that bedrock. And yet we've only pulled out those couple little micro dots right there. Um, which means that for whatever reason, it is just not holding gold. 
Uh, and we have to try and find a new spot. <laughs> I just cleaned out one crevice and we haven't found a speck of gold all day <laughs> and I just did one tiny thing I just called short man over <laughs> that's some gold for one pan <laughs> I found it <laughs> I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna make a video after our disastrous rocker box thing um, but this is two pans worth of gold and I reckon that's pretty damn good. <laughs> so now you're getting a snip bit. This is just crevicing. It's coming out of that crevice down there. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be a lot more. Uh, short man is cleaning out this one here. And then there's also another one there. Hopefully there's even more. Because this is an impromptu video and the production quality is limited, I'll catch you up really quick. We found, well I found, a ton of gold <laughs> in a crevice. <laughs> then we, we cleaned out every other crevice around it and there was hardly anything. So we've walked a good 150 metres or so up the creek and we've come to this beautiful outcrop of bedrock and we're just screening dirt down into a couple of buckets and um, making sure the state park's nice and clean for everyone else to come along and enjoy it. And hopefully there'll be some gold for our rewards. We're going to send the bill off to the government as well uh, for all the blackberries and stuff that we've cleared. We just got back with our buckets of dirt. I almost died. It did wonders my rotor cuff. Short man's sciatic nerve is just cracking along lovely. I've done one pan. I already know what's in that one pan. Um, and I, I've put more dirt in on top of it and panned off some more. Short man hasn't seen it. I didn't want to show him until he was recovered. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. Even if it's the only bit that I get for the rest of the day. There it is. Look at that chunk. Very nice. <laughs> Look at that. That is a proper chunk. For a day that started off really crappy with the uh, rocket box, it's turned out all right. <laughs> I've already finished filming and said goodbye, but Short Man finally got some gold. He got a <laughs> chunk out. <laughs> oh. oh, the relief is real. <laughs> it's a bigger. <laughs> we thought there was going to be nothing for Short it's Man. Oh. He still got some dirt. He finally got a chunk. Well. I found some really nice bits of gold today, even though it turned out to be a disaster with the rocker box. <laughs> Grizzly's having a blast finding some sticks and pushing buckets into me. Short man's still looking for gold. I don't think he's found it. With all these, with all the the gold that Short man's collected today, I, it's probably equivalent to one speck. <laughs> <laughs> and he's digging the holes in front of me, which I don't understand. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I did run some gold. Short man's still got half a bucket to go through. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out this gold. <laughs>